Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on my vanilla Minecraft server. And hopefully the game doesn't crash again. Because I don't like re-recording my intros <laughs> five million times. Uh, today, we're going to head over this way. Uh, I've mentioned before, one of the things that I want around here is to have villagers wandering about for ambience. And in my original plan, I was just going to use a zombie spawner and cure zombie villagers. But in 1.11, uh, they still do spawn zombie villagers. It's just very rare. And yeah, I was thinking about it. And I decided that it would be better to go ahead and raid a village and then set up a villager breeder outside of town here. So yeah. We're going to be going and doing some raiding. Or, actually, in today's episode, what we're going to be doing, at a minimum, we need some sort of a catchment area for the villagers. Now, throughout this particular village, I haven't been able to find any uh, farmers, so we're going to be tossing them food by hand. At least initially. But first, first things first, let's, uh, let, let's get a catchment area built. Somewhere for them to land. So, yeah, let's see. Number 9 to 10 by 10, all it? No, 11 by 11. Hmm. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven ish. About to there. Hmm. Alright. Something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Alright. And then I was going to put. So it'd be there. If I measure correctly. Three, four. One, two, three, four. That would be a no, I did not measure correctly. It's an even number, not an odd number. Well then. Uh, an ender chest, yes, I did bring that. What it means is that both of these need to go. That one needs to go over one, and then this one will need to go over one as well. You'll see why in a little bit. It doesn't actually start back here either. It actually starts there. <sighs> so I guess that wasn't right. Well, no, I really want that a little bit forward anyways. So it should be okay. And it's getting to be a little bit late, so we're going to go take a nap here in a minute. Let me finish this row. Actually, it's still too early. I won't let you. Uh, 
And that's all the dirt we had on us. <sighs> you can only sleep at night. What does it look like? Middle does it look like new? There we go. Anywho, let's see. The complicated thing to work with is going to be that. We do want it to kind of have an edge there, though. Alright, nope. Completely missed. Missed again. We'll eat when we land on our post over there. And technically we will have to go there. Alright, let's see now. So, brick wall, stone brick. That'll be stone brick back here. Switch to that back. Alright. Dang it. Fell down. Oh, it's going to be the next episode at the earliest before we actually go get it, villagers. Okay. Yeah, we could use dirt. I don't think I'll hurt anything. Like so. And grab some stone brick. There's more than enough. Do I bring extra water buckets? Because we're going to need at least two. Yes, yes, I did. One. Ah, that could be interesting.
And instead of being in the extreme hills, you have to cover your water. Alright, so we've got that part down. Now, next part. When do we want to do this? Because so, I was thinking about having a piston system to flush this thing to you. Shove all the villagers over the edge. Temporarily replace that block. Um, yeah, that's six. It's going to hurt, isn't it? And I did create another custom profile to specifically uh, check our light levels, but we're not in it right now. So this could be fun. So we got that part done. Uh, ah, I did remember the glass. Okay. Should probably grab the uh, luggage. Three, four, three, four. We're not going to be able to reach that one. Not until we get some glass in. And same thing on that corner. I think there we might have one more of that. We'll find out here in a second. Yep. Something I've done a lot of lately. Placing glass. And lots of it. When we're done, of course, the ladder goes away. Although we'll probably want to put some sort of an internal structure at the bottom here. You know what? We might as well do that now. While we're here... It's not like they're going to be able to use it. All right. 
So we got it there to So let's see how we want to do this. Uh, first, we want to go throw some more torches down because they kind of got washed away down the hill. Alright, so we want the Adult villagers to not be able to get through there, but we don't want the babies to get through. Tempor Temporarily go ahead and put that there. Like we're almost ready to actually go fetch the villagers, but I don't think we're quite ready for it yet. We're getting close. Alright, so we got that. And I won't remember to bring that. Because we, we're going to want... Nope. So we're going to want a hoe at some point. Sort of a crossbreed design that I just kind of whipped together. Because, you know, it's what people do sometimes. And of course, down there we're going to need our detector villager, which is going to have to be protected. And I don't think it's down low enough for the detector villager either. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Anyways, in any event, I think we're out of time for this episode for today. If you did enjoy the episode, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, then do make sure to subscribe. And you can subscribe by clicking my little guy's face. You can also check a couple of other videos out that should be on the screen as well. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we will continue working on this. Bye-bye.